It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Finland and it's a bottle of Lakritsi Portri coming in at 5.4% ABV. 330 milliliter bottle. Thank you very much to Joma in Finland for sending us this beer. I've seen this a lot. I have seen this beer a lot. It's a bit of a famous beer from Finland this and I've always wanted to try it. So yeah, thank you to Joma for getting me this beer. I'm going to get it out. There's a little ring pull. <laughs> that is an interesting one. The, the old ring pulls, they go up there. Or the old bottle caps. I don't have many these days. I used to always be throwing bottle caps on the top of the units. But I don't get to do it so much anymore. There's about a thousand or two different bottle caps up there with all different paintings and pictures on them. So whoever buys the house after me is going to have a, a, a massive surprise. <laughs> but everything seems to be in cans these days. So what I'm finding is that, yeah, I, I can't go throwing cans up there because um, they'd be piled high. So I don't get to throw so many bottle caps up there anymore. Uh, one finger, slightly off white head, good levels of carbonation. Slow moving carbonation, yeah, jet black. Look at that beautiful looking beer in the glass. Is it? Oh, look at that. Yeah, there's a little bit of sediment. Can you see the sediment in the bottom of the glass? Only little bits. But it's, a, it's definitely a bottle conditioned beer. It looks good. Let's get the aroma. Roasted malt. Chocolate, coffee, caramel. Smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Stone the crows. Lovely mouthfeel, creamy, rich mouthfeel, molasses, brown sugar, burnt brown sugar. What's that pie that they, the dessert where they burn the brown sugar on the top of the pie with a blowtorch? Top of the dessert with a blowtorch, should I say. Creme brulee, creme brulee. It's a bit creme brulee like. Sweet, definitely sweet. A little roasted malt coming through, chocolate, coffee, caramel, a little bit of bitterness on the back end. But this is as much, it's the, it's the most well-balanced um, stout porter style beer that I, I, I've probably reviewed on the channel. Um, quite a sweet, sweet porter. Normally, lots of roasted malt on the back end, tons of it. Those are, yeah, chocolate, coffee, caramel, roasted bitterness, peppers, spices on the back end, um, plum, prune, fig. But this is, de yeah, you're definitely getting the chocolate, the coffee, the caramel. But then it's leaning towards the molasses. It's leaning towards that kind of brown sugar. Pardon me. Flavour in the beer. But have a look at the conditioning. Look at the conditioning on that beer as I rock it back and forth. It looks tremendous. I've seen it. I've seen it somewhere before. Not because it's been sent to me and it's been sitting in my cupboard for about three weeks and I've been looking at it. No, I've, I definitely know of this beer from before. Somehow. I mean, I've never been to Finland, but I, I, I know of this beer. It 
It's interesting. Probably, if I'm honest, if I'm completely honest, it's a little bit too sweet for the the style of stout porter style beer that I like to drink. I like to drink them with a lot more bitterness than this, a little bit more body, um, and a kind of like roasty, toasty, chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours with with vinous qualities coming through as well, and, and spiciness and bitterness and pepperiness and yeah. This is leaning towards being quite a sweet porter and it's not my cup of tea to be honest. I'm not a I'm not an overly sweet person in terms of my beer. So I'm gonna rate it. There's not a lot I can understand on the back of this bottle. It's all in the good language of Finland. Maybe I can ask my friend Valtteri or Kimmy. They might be able to help me. <laughs> I wish. Um, La Kritsi Portery. Lightland. La Kritsi Portery. 5.4% ABV. Porter. For me, it's still a 6 out of 10. It's still a 6 out of 10. There's nothing kind of... There's nothing wrong with the beer as such. It's just I don't like sweet beer. So, 6 out of 10 for me. If you like sweet beer, you'll probably rate it an awful lot higher. So give it a try. But if you like me, and you like your, your stouts and porters, more full-bodied, less sweet, more bitter, then it may not be for you. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!